In populated areas, however, the situation is deteriorating. Höchstwahrscheinlich werden die Grenzen geschlossen. Das Notstandsrecht wird überall in Kraft treten. Und die strategischen Reserven werden ausschließlich für die eigenen Belange benutzt. Sociologist Wolf Dombrowski is a world-renowned disaster management expert. Interessanterweise sind die strategischen Reserven unterschiedlich verteilt. Es gibt so etwas wie betriebswichtige äh, Reserven, es gibt versorgungswichtige Personale. Und für all diese Bereiche sind Zuteilungspläne vorhanden. Also es sind keineswegs Reserven für die gesamte Bevölkerung. National strategic reserves include non-perishable food, water, medicine and fuel. In Germany, the stocks will last between three and four months, assuming they survive the disaster. What happens after that is anybody's guess. We have a comet coming in at 135,000 miles an hour. It's eight miles across and it's going to hit the Earth at almost all of that velocity. The atmosphere counts for nothing. Something like that will release 100 million megatons of energy. It plows through the atmosphere in a second or two. Whether it's a deep ocean or not, doesn't matter. It's so much bigger than even the depth of the deepest ocean that it just blasts out a huge crater. This is going to obliterate all the life on a continental scale. Anything that's unprotected is going to die within the first few minutes after this impact. exactly where the comet's point of impact will be. Okay, Chad, now two degrees south. Experts are working round the clock to predict just where the comet will hit. Okay, I see. We just have to wait. Wow. This thing's putting out 100,000 kilograms of dust per second. That's like 10 times more than Comet Haley in 1986. No wonder it's got such a big tail. Noah? I've got a leak from a friend in Arecibo. They've estimated the coordinates of the point of impact. Have they released it? No, it's top secret. They won't go public until they've got an evacuation plan. The point of impact is now known, but the breakthrough wasn't made with optical telescopes. The radio telescope in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, is the largest in the world. Its data, ten times more precise than an optical telescope's, made it possible to plot the point of impact to within a few kilometers. The problem with this is we have to wait until the comet is really quite close to the Earth, uh, about two weeks before the impact. But at that time, it will be possible uh, to transmit um, a radio signal to the comet. The comet will reflect a part of this signal, and that will be then received at the ground as an echo. Now, the transmitted signal will have a particular frequency, and the echo will have a slightly different frequency. And on the basis of, of these radar data, that we, would then, we will then be able to calculate exactly uh, where on the surface of the Earth and at what time uh, the comet will hit. The point of impact has still not been announced. This is a tragic day in the history of our country. 
We have just received news that the point of impact of the comet will be somewhere in the region of the Yucatan Peninsula. Credible sources predict the complete destruction of our country and the entire Gulf of Mexico region. Can the whole Gulf of Mexico region be evacuated in such a short time? In diesem konkreten Fall gibt es keinen historischen Vorläufer, dass ein ganzer Staat sich und seine Gesellschaft evakuiert hat. Es wird individuelle Selbstevakuierung geben. Also die Leute werden selbst wegfahren wollen und das zu Hunderttausenden. Aber im Sinne von ein Staat organisiert seine eigene Evakuierung, das halte ich für völlig unmöglich. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the news at eight. Tonight's coverage will be devoted exclusively to the comet. Three days ago, scientists finally succeeded in determining the impact. At least of my parents' place in Batoon would all be together. And how are we supposed to get there now? Efforts were underway in the region, leading to outbursts of violence in Mexico and Southern California. U.S. police and national guard. Michelle, from now on, do not take Sarah out alone. Oh, Papa, no one's going to. Michelle. End of discussion. I'll come down once I'm ready, okay, Sherry? Give me half an hour. In Hawaii, the scientists have finished their work. What are you doing? Don't you want to be with your family when it hits? My parents died in a car crash when I was 15. My dad used to take me camping. We'd lie in our sleeping bags, looking at the stars. Now I've got a front row seat. I'm not giving it up. Okay, take care of yourself, all right? And look after Shine for me. She's already gone home. Do you think the seismographic data will transmit during the impact? What are you doing here? Didn't you want to... I mean, weren't you supposed to be on a plane like hours ago? Don't fight the mob for a seat. At least we have something to do here. Don't we? There are many evacuation plans which work perfectly in theory, but experience shows that evacuating even a single large city can end in chaos. Hardly anyone actually makes it to their destination. Auf dem Weg dorthin wird es höchstwahrscheinlich zu sehr unangenehmen Szenen kommen, weil Verkehrsunfälle passieren, äh, Autos äh, liegen bleiben werden, äh, andere werden dann diese Autos äh, mit Gewalt von der Straße räumen, ähm, sodass um Besitztümer, um Überlebenschancen auch bestimmt gekämpft werden wird. Law and order is breaking down. In the final days before impact, people are on edge as never before. Fernando has been walking for days. He hasn't met a soul who could have warned him.
New York City is almost 3,000 kilometers from the expected point of impact, but New Yorkers fear the worst. Most of them have already left. Anyone who could afford it has fled to another continent. The others are trying to cross the border into Canada. Dr. David Sutler specializes in the psychological consequences of hurricanes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. As Hurricane Emily was making a direct threat on Charleston, South Carolina, I went out and interviewed people and asked them what were they doing to prepare. And what we found was that people who were older, people who had higher income and the ability to buy supplies, but also people who had an internal locus of control, those people who believe that what they do can make a difference to prepare were more likely to prepare than those who had an external locus of control, those who believed that what was going to happen to them was determined by fate or by luck. <laughs> 